Great. <laughs> you just tell me when we start recording. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. Okay. Hello, family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Boy, are we happy to see you this morning? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just having a meltdown and a breakthrough with my sis. So all is well. I said I feel totally insane. So we should start right now. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> here we go. We are on review three and the introduction. Mm. Sis, are you feeling to read it or no? Which yeah, one? You know what? Hmm. Um, I lost my place. I lost my place. <laughs> I was, okay, well, here it is. So we're on the review lessons, you said? Yes. And it's Great. lesson number 110. Is that correct? Um, well, um, actually... No. Uh, just after lesson 110 is yes. the review. Yes. Okay, I've got it. Review. And this is the third review we've done so far. This yeah, the in the third. lessons. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, sis, you tell me, would you like me to read this or do you feel to read it? <laughs> um, I'll read it just so I don't cry. How's that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Give me something to do. <laughs> Our third review begins today. We will review two of the last 20 ideas each day until we have reviewed them all. We will observe a special format for these practice periods, which you are urged to follow just as closely as you can. We understand, of course, that it may be impossible for you to undertake what is suggested here as optimal each day and every hour of the day. Learning will not be hampered when you miss a practice period because it is impossible at the appointed time, nor is it necessary that you make excessive efforts to be sure that you catch up in terms of numbers. Rituals are not our aim and would defeat our learning goal. It's so helpful and no judgment, right? Mm, no self-judgment, yeah. yeah. We're going for content, not ritual. Mm -hmm. ah. But learning will be hampered when you skip a practice period because you are unwilling to devote the time to it that you are asked to give. Do not deceive yourself in this. Unwillingness can be most carefully concealed behind a cloak of situations that you cannot control. Learn to distinguish situations which are poorly suited to your practicing from those which you establish to uphold the camouflage for your unwillingness. Can we stop this? this sorry, I've got some ego distractions occurring right here now because I think the ego doesn't want me to say what I'm about to say. Can you hear a bell ringing in the background? Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> Bugger off, ego. That's what I say. <laughs> Just bugger off. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. So what you just read there, I think, is very, very important. I wished that I could have understood this back in the day when I first began the course. Maybe we can, mm. we can um, help to deepen the understanding for those who are watching this now. Um, I just want to have a which which okay. Learning will be hampered when you skip a practice period because you are unwilling to devote the time to it that you are asked to give. Do not deceive yourself in this. Unwillingness can be most carefully concealed behind a cloak of situations you cannot control. Learn, learn to distinguish situations that are poorly suited to your practicing from those that you establish to uphold a, camouf a camouflage mm -hmm. for your unwillingness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. I find 
find that if I'm sitting there trying to do the practice lesson and I find yeah. myself mind wandering after the second sentence and I'm going, I wonder what I should make for dinner, you know, or all of a sudden I have this desire to clean my entire house <laughs> mm -hmm. or let's switch the laundry over. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Right. Those are the ways in which I'm camouflaging. Really what's happening is the ego's unwillingness to want to, you know, really take these in. I think the other situation he's pointing to is that he knows that, you know, we're in the world of form and that there are things that need to get done. And so if it turns out that, you know, you're waiting for uh, something at the grocery store or your tires from the to get rotated and you're not there on the 45 minute mark and you miss it, it's not to beat yourself up for it. So oh, you sort yeah. of feel the difference between I'm just. I'm in the doing right now and I didn't get that one as opposed to I really, I, you know, or you're falling asleep, you know, your head starts to fall back. Mm. That's unwillingness. <laughs> Rose to get a lot of that. Well, how about you read the next paragraph? Sure. And then I, I've, I've got a nudge to, to share something. Sure. Yeah. 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 That's that. Perfect. Those practice periods, which you have lost because you did not want to do them for whatever reason should be done as soon as you have changed your mind about your goal. You are unwilling to cooperate in practicing salvation only if it interferes with God's you hold more dear. When you withdraw the value given them, allow your practice periods to be replacements for your litanies to them. They gave you nothing, but your practice periods offer you everything accept their offering and be at peace. Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling it to share this. Okay, I remember very clearly. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Especially when we, we agree to do them regularly now, okay, like every hour, and we really do agree to do that. I think what happened for me, and I'm sure this happens for others, I don't know if it happened for you too, sis, is there's from the ego, there's something that kicks in mm -hmm. that says, um, look, really, I've been working very, very hard at this, at the course, what we've done nearly a third mm -hmm. of the lessons so far. I've done really well and I deserve to take a break Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, now it doesn't tell you this, <laughs> but what it's really saying is I deserve, I, the ego, deserve to take a break from God. Okay. Yeah, I've got credit stored up for all my good work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? I've earned it. I've qualified for God's love. And now I need some me time. To yes. be thoroughly distracted mm -hmm. from God. Yes. Because after all, that's the reward, isn't it? Right. To be distracted from God. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is <laughs> insanity of the ego thought system. It's like, just let me let me go watch TV for four hours, right? Right. Or watch yeah. movies back to back. No matter anything, anything but to actually mm -hmm. be present with God. And that comes back. Again, I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, but it comes back to the obstacles to peace. And the mm -hmm. first one is the desire to get rid of it. Yeah. Because yeah. the ego knows, oh, God damn it, if we go into peace. Game's over. Game is over. Because in peace is joy. Mm. In peace is fulfillment. In peace is the completion, you mm. know, of our most holy self. Um what better reward than that? That is the reward. But the ego tries to trick us with all of these distractions yeah. and then tell us, hey, you know, you earned this. It's okay. You know, it's time. You're going to get time out. You need a break from God for a while. It yeah. reminds me when Jesus talks about how when we've had a lot of time joining with somebody else and we get real close and the lines begin to blur and how there's a, I need to exit stage left so that the ego can be alone so it can rebuild or establish itself, right? It's boundary. I know that one. Yeah. 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 That's I had a lot of love. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, it needs to to withdraw from too much God or too much real joining, so that it can rebuild itself. Right. You know, mm. that's it. But Thank we don't you. we don't want it to be, rebuild itself, right? No. Thank you, sis. Hit it hardest when it's starting to wobble. Yeah. <laughs> Put your foot on the gas, as they say, right? <laughs> yes, sis, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's not the time to back off and let it re, uh, recalibrate. Okay, so the format you should use for these reviews is this. Devote five minutes twice a day or longer, if you would prefer, to contemplating the ideas assigned. Read over the ideas and comments which are written down for each day's exercises. Then begin to think about them quietly, letting your mind relate them to your needs, your seeming problems, and all your concerns. Okay, Basically, so you, you're reading the COA version, right? Yes, I am. Okay, and you just read a sentence that said, and then begin to think about them. Yes, quietly. Well, mm -hmm. the word quietly has been removed from my version, which is the FIP version. Um, and I think the word quietly is extremely important. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's yeah. so much it's emphasis stillness. on Sorry? There's so much emphasis on having a prayer closet or a sacred space or going within, right? Or shutting the door on physical senses that needs to be an inner, uh, some form of sanctuary. Yeah place where your mind's not going to be interrupted yeah yeah quiet quietness and stillness are so important yeah <sighs> okay that's why i live out in the sticks where i do because god wants me to be quiet <laughs> <laughs> i knew nothing about being quiet that was the antithesis okay here we go place the ideas within your mind and let it use them as it chooses. Give it faith that it will use them wisely, being helped in its decisions by the one who gave the thoughts to you. What can you trust but what is in your mind? Have faith in these reviews, the means the Holy Spirit uses will not fail. The wisdom of your mind will come to your assistance. Give it direction at the start and then Lean back in quiet faith and let it use the ideas you have given it as they were given you. Oh, I love that. Mm, that's been changed here. Can you read that sentence again, please? Mm, the last one? Yeah, give direction. At yeah, give it direction at the start and then lean back in quiet faith mm. and let it use the ideas you have given it as they were given you. I love that. I love that. It's been changed here in the FIP version. Um, it says, give direction at the outset, then lean back in quiet faith and let the mind employ the thoughts you gave as they were given you for it to use. So I like your version, the original version, much better. I do too. Yeah, I can feel it in my heart. Yeah. This is very intellectual, this sentence. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was intellectuals that edited it, not judgment, but really, you know, there's yeah. a slant towards the heady. Yeah. Okay. You have been given them, these ideas, in perfect trust, in perfect confidence that you would use them well, in perfect faith that you would understand their messages and use them for yourself. Offer them to your mind in that same trust and confidence and faith. It will not fail. It is the Holy Spirit's chosen means for your salvation. And with his trust, it merits yours as well. So we can really trust these lessons, trust the process, trust that they've been perfectly placed, that the words chosen were perfect, that it's happening. I love that. He has perfect faith in us so we can have perfect faith in these ideas that he's giving us. And then he, he trusts that we will apply them perfectly to whatever seems to be upsetting us in our little private world, right? 
It's that trust in him. Yeah. You know, that trust. Mm -hmm. That requires us also being willing to let go of the I know mind, right? Right. <clears throat> but he's trusting that part of our mind that's healed, right? He's giving them to that part of our mind. Mm -hmm. And he's trust that part of your mind to receive these from me. Mm -hmm. We're in communication and let, let your mind apply the ideas to what's confronting you yeah yeah that means also for me mm -hmm. that means i have to expect it yeah because the ego mind's always doubting that saying oh right. it's your imagination and all kinds of things so yeah we have to expect that really anticipate it joyfully yeah that's that faith that they talk about you know expectation mm -hmm. of good faith in, in the process and in him who's orchestrating it. Okay. Remember, it will not fail. We emphasize the benefits to you if you devote the first five minutes of the day to your reviews and also give the last five minutes of your waking day to them. If this cannot be done, at least try to divide them so you undertake one in the morning and the other in the hour just before you go to sleep. The exercises to be done throughout the day are equally important and perhaps of even greater value. You have been inclined to do your exercises only at appointed times and then go on to other things without applying what you learned to them. As a result, your learning has had little reinforcement and you have not given it a fair chance to prove how great are its potential gifts to you. Do you think he knows us very well? <laughs> oh, totally. Here we are, our third review. And it's like, ah, oh, okay. Here is another chance to use it well. In these reviews, we stress the need to let your learning not lie idly by between your longer practice periods. Attempt to give your daily two ideas a brief but serious review each hour. Use one on the hour and the other one a half an hour later. You need not give more than just a moment to each one. Repeat it. Then allow your mind to rest a little time in silence and in peace. Then turn to other things, but try to keep the thought with you and let it serve to help you keep your peace throughout the day. If you are shaken, think of it again. These practice periods are planned to help you form the habit of applying what you learn each day to everything you do. Do not repeat the thought and then lay it down. Its usefulness is limitless to you. And it is meant to serve you in all ways, all times and places, and whenever you need help of any kind. Try then to take it with you in the business of the day and make it holy today, worthy of God's son, acceptable to God and to yourself. Each day's review assignment will conclude with a restatement of the thought to use each hour and the one to be applied on each half hour as well. Forget them not. This second chance with, with each of these ideas will bring such large advances that we come from these reviews with learning gains so great that we begin again on solid ground with firmer footsteps and with stronger faith. Mm. See, it says something different here. It says that, yeah, th and this is great. This second chance, second chance, right? With each of these ideas, will bring such large advances that we come that that we come from these reviews with learning gains so great we will continue on more solid ground with firmer footsteps and with stronger faith yours says we will begin again mm -hmm. okay well it's like another another fresh start which yeah. removes any guilt thinking that I hadn't done it right before. That's the way yeah. I perceive it. Or okay. It, but continuing on, that's good too. Do not forget how little you have learned. 
Do not forget how much you can learn now. Do not forget your father's need of you as you review these thoughts he gave to you. Ooh. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Shall we look at lesson 111? Yeah. Why don't you read it? Wanna? You wanna? Sure. I wanna. You wanna? <laughs> lesson 111. 111. Ah. There's some numbers there throwing this, throwing the numerology at you. <laughs> For morning and evening, the first one is miracles are seen in light. I cannot see in darkness. Let the light of holiness and truth light up my mind and let me see the innocence within. Hmm. Do we need to just flesh that out a little bit, just as a reminder? What does that mean? Miracles are seen in light. Okay. Anytime that we cannot we're... see in darkness. Yeah. Anytime that we're looking through the idea that we are mythical me, we're using an ego thought filter mm -hmm. to prevent us from experiencing the kingdom of heaven that is at hand. So we're looking into a darkened void that's completely, you know, without light, without meaning. It's not from God. And the whole game here is to see in it what we have, we profess is there okay. instead through our false definitions and seeing things and judging things. And so, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sis. So from a practical point of view, mm -hmm. um, if I'm triggered by somebody. Yes. Yeah. Or something. Mm -hmm. It might be pain in the body or it might be this or it might be that. If I'm triggered, am I seeing in darkness? Absolutely. Okay, Without so what doubt. do I need? The light. Right, okay. But miracles are seen mm -hmm. in the light. So I need to change my mind. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit does the rest. I just need to put my hand up mm -hmm. and admit, okay, I am triggered. <laughs> And I'm tr I have trusted my body senses to report to me mm -hmm. uh, what I think the truth is. <clears throat> and the body senses report only what the ego is, sends them to see, which is signs of separation or proof of separation. Okay, so I have to first of all put my hand up and go, hey, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm seeing through the ego's filter. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing in darkness. And I want to see in light. As soon as we want to see in light, we are giving Holy Spirit permission mm -hmm. to provide mm -hmm. that light in our mind. We already have the light, but it's to remove the filter of yeah. the darkness of the ego thought system. And in between and those two steps is the recognition that you cannot do it. No, that's it. Yeah. We can't do it of ourselves, right? Yes. <sighs> Nice. Our job is to is to undo, yeah, to allow the you know the learning or the light in. He also says in here, miracles are seen in light, I cannot see in darkness. He says, let the light of holiness mm -hmm. and truth light up my mind and let me see the innocence within. So I think we already talked about what holiness is, mm -hmm. and holiness is our incorruptible innocence. So it is that we need to want that. Mm -hmm. We need to have the felt experience of that. It's not just an intellectual uh, pursuit here. Yes. It's, it's, it's that we've got to desire it from the heart. And that is our innocence. Our holiness is our innocence. That's the light mm -hmm. in which we see. So yeah. it's the it's the separate self willing to own all the illusions and saying I don't want this and stepping back. It's mm -hmm. stepping back and allowing Holy Spirit, which is the light in our mind, mm -hmm. to do the looking for us. And it's illumined because it's the mind of God. It's the thought of God that's looking. And so when our mind that means our the healed part of our mind 
is shining light and then we're going to see what's there. So are we ever actually seeing real darkness and changing it into light? Or is the light just, is it's shining and we're really seeing what's always there. The perfection that has to be there. Like that's the way that Jesus did the healing. He saw with light so he could see life instead of death, perfection instead of sickness, abundance instead of lack. Mm -hmm. So Beautiful. miracles are only seen in that light, but that light is in our mind. Beautiful, sis. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. Mm. So if I'm judging someone, <laughs> I will not be able to see in light. I have, to I have to forgive it first, right? Forgive myself. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Boy. A big day when you practice 111. <laughs> okay. You want to read the rest of it? Okay. <laughs> the second one is miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. Mm. I see I see through strength the gift of God to me. My weakness is the dark. My weakness is the dark. His gift dispels right. by giving me his strength to take its place. So I see through strength the gift of God to me. My weakness is the dark his gift dispels. Of course, that's the light, right? By giving me his strength to take its place. That's the innocence. Yes. Innocence is strength. The ego says, of course, innocence is is uh, the opposite, which is weakness. Mm -hmm. But innocence is strength. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. Well, light, innocence, and strength are one. Right. Does that make sense? Totally. And I love that it's what it was his gift. You know, the moment that we wished for darkness to see things as they are not, uh, to be separate, God's gracious gift in that moment was to make sure that the light could never leave our mind that we would always have a way back to him so in our weakness our strength is always available to us as a choice when we really have hit the wall and we no longer want the sense of separation isn't that beautiful the second we came up with this crazy idea you know his response was no inconceivable and while the mind seemed to go to sleep, the light's always been right here with mm -hmm. us, no matter what we seem to be going through. I join you in that. Yeah. Yeah. Such that mm. perfect love. Mm. Okay. So the last piece of this lesson is on the hour, miracles are seen in light. And on the half hour, miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. Right. So beautiful. Beautiful. You feel and like to have sorry, sis, what were you saying? The the sense of frailty and weakness and hopelessness and self-doubt all accompany this thought that we are separate and we're looking in the dark and we're trying to solve problems on our own. And we're always failing. I mean, you can really feel like the, the strain and the grief in all of that. But, you know, when we choose with the light, his strength and that light, our strength and that light are one. In the light, we have the strength to overcome, overlook, to, you know, to rise up, to see the truth, to, to cast out error, to heal. You know, that's so beautiful. This, our strength doesn't come from us in a darkened place. It comes when we invite the light. Hmm. Yeah, I think through the ego, we really believe that strength is being in control. Yep. Right. And yet strength is surrender yes. or giving yep. over to Holy Spirit. Just yep. say, not my way, but your way. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Not my That's will, but your will which is really our real will. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sissy. Did all that without bursting into tears. Oh, I'm good. I got close. 111. 
<laughs> That's good. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. See you later. <laughs>